guys and welcome to a glorious day. It's so warm outside, not hot, but warm. You guys saw yesterday's video, then you'll know. Sophie uh, slept at a friend's house last night. Mm -hmm, yeah, first time. I am really picky about where the girls sleep and who they sleep over and what age they sleep over, but I think she's got a good head on her shoulders and she's ready. And I love Elizabeth, I love her mom, and I trust and believe in them, and she's gone on a hike today, a really long hike. Let's pray that she, um, let's pray she survives it. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sam and I are headed out to get crickets because the cricket, the bearded dragon be needing crickets. Sam and I have been in charge of it the last two days. How have you felt about being in charge of it? I hate it. <laughs> not that fun. Sophie's really good at it. Sam and I, not as much. Anyway. me as like the groomer just the way that storm did I don't know if you guys remember but storm used to come to me to be scratched and brushed and because I do such a good job at it I feel like Willa wants me to too like she comes to me and and I can feel her asking me I can't uh oh hey Gracie so yeah today I'm gonna make a uh, today I'm gonna make a effort to come down and groom Willow even if I have to take her away, oops. Even if I have to take her away from Penny, because she deserves love too. And even though Sophie grooms her, I think I think Willow is really craving the kind of like brushing and grooming that only an adult can give, not a child. Because I really I like. Do you guys remember not long ago I laid on the couch in here and she stood with me and groomed her for the longest time. I think Willow is really craving that. She's really craving that, that, that connection or that brushing. She's starting to look a little chubby. So we've been taking them off the grass a little sooner again. A little sooner, but look at her eyes. Be looking cute. And she's bossy. You are a bossy girl. I hate bossy girls. They all be looking a little chubby, but they always look chubby right after. And by morning, like tonight and tomorrow morning, they'll be looking normal again. Hey, Penny. Stop, be nice. She literally loves her ponies so much, but when we're standing by the door there and she thinks that I'm gonna give them treats and it's the only time she's mean to them. And I always catch it on film, so people be thinking she's always mean, but she's never mean. Oh, well, hello, Ansel. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? He's like, it's dark, I can't see. You can't see. So we're here with Gino, and he is such a dramatic pony. Like, he's such a sensitive he's a horse, soul. Actually. Yeah, he's a horse, actually. Um, his eyes are looking a lot better. Are really hard to find 16 three-hand horses? Uh, some 16 three-hand horses are, like, normal, and some are really long. Like, I don't know if he just has, like, long. a long body or a long neck. I think he's got both. His father was long. Yeah. Um, he has two long legs. And? Does he? He has to bend his legs down so it looks like he's foundering yeah. in order to eat grass. Yeah, he has to bend his feet down to eat grass. Not like a hole though. Kind of normal, but kind of not. Anyway, he is like such a, you guys know, you guys have seen him go. Like he is not an aggressive horse. At, like he's got no drive. <laughs> he's got nothing. No, yeah. how much I touched him Yeah, today. like he's sensitive. Yeah. yeah. He's very sensitive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh I boy, click. yeah. Yeah, and, I just click and, and click. when you click with Storm, holy heck. Like even yesterday, Gabby. Many times in one corner, he will buck. Yeah, he will buck. He will buck. So for Gabby to actually do okay at Trillium, she has to really work with Chino, she has to do a lot more. Like in the past, we've only ever ridden like three times a week and we've only ever 
done like we've had days at home and now with him needing to build up that endurance she's been having to ride him like more like four and five days a week and and not just in lessons she has to just come and do so much flatting and it's making a difference i can see a huge difference huge like his strength level like his endurance level from the first show to the second show i know she's doing good she's doing better and so hopefully this next time he'll be even stronger but we're not used to it it's hard isn't like isn't this hard like it takes a lot to train a horse and build the muscle that you need for for a big show like that don't you think abby uh, also some of you guys were saying like that's a lot of divisions for a horse to show and it does seem like that he's actually showing just two divisions and then one class so uh one division has three rounds so he does three rounds of jumping and then a flat. And then the other division is just a flat. And then and a, one of the rounds is a whole different division too. Yeah, she's doing three things, two divisions and one class. So um, anyways, we, we didn't choose, Fiona chose for us, but it's not like over much for a horse. I don't know if it's over much for a horse. I don't know if that's usual. I don't know anything. All I know is that it's two, two divisions and one of them is three rounds of jumping in a flat and the other one is just a flat completely just a flat and then and she doesn't do, ever do well in, or she hasn't been doing that well in that one and then i'm first in the metal and then tiny little, the other one is a metal class i give them tiny little itty bitty pieces like that yeah so gabby tries to train him to be yeah, like she no. trains him not to take gobble her whole hands. You know how some horses gobble no, your whole hand? No, he's naturally like that. Well, I've... his favorite treats, by the way. What are they? Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. Those are his favorite treats in the entire world right now. Favorite treats in the whole world? Yeah. Such a good boy. Is it crazy that every time I say good boy to Chino, I feel like I'm betraying Storm? Like, oh, it's been days, six days, you guys. That's still be sad. Did he? Like, I don't know, like... I'm like, wrong one. It was, yeah, I know. In my mind, Storm's perfect. Like, in my head, Storm's the perfect color, the perfect composition or confirmation. Yeah, he got a lot lighter, and now I barely recognize him in the field. Yeah, like, he got a lot lighter, I but... I don't know which horse is mine in the field anymore. I just go wherever Finn is, because... <laughs> Well, Finn's by Chino, but... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Look at him looking. He's like, yummy, yeah, give me more. Yeah. He's like, I want coffee. He Abby, just like coffee. Don't give horses coffee. He always smells it, though. I'm just like, what is this? Ah, you're spilling it. <laughs> He's like, I do not need coffee. But yeah, so like when I see coffee. Chino, I don't know. I just feel guilty. I feel guilty because... I don't know. Like, like as long coffee. as my horse is alive, knock on wood, I will only ever have her. I will only ever need her. And even if she can't ever oh, be ridden, she'll still be perfect for me. And I won't coffee. ever my horse now. leave her. Knock on wood. <laughs> she knows using Storm's old bridle. Makes it's me not sad. His old one, it's his new bridle. Storm's brand new bridle. Did Chino get a new bridle for Christmas? No. He has one that's good. Oh yeah, he got a new one when we got him not that long ago and then Storm got a new one for Christmas and we and a gave ago. his old bridle to the other barn. Hello. I'm gonna go bring Finn in. You're gonna go bring Finn in and brush him? No. Oh. We're all sad and we're all sad about Storm. So we're all trying to make up for it with these guys and let them know that and let them know that they're loved. So Gabby's literally walked around a short amount of time and he's already sweating. And it's not super, super hot today. It's gonna be hot starting next week though. And then we got Finney over here having grass. You fly sprayed him? Yeah. Look at your hands. There's a horse and buggy over there and Chino's excited. He's like, wait for me. I can see he's getting stronger, you guys. Yeah, I can see it in his bum. It's getting stronger. You guys know Sophie was away overnight and she left us in charge of the dragon. And I see her and she's in her little house. It looks like she ate lots of her salad. 
and hopefully uh, she ate lots of her crickets and hopefully she's doing well she's looking at me but the weird thing about bearded dragons or at least our bearded dragon is that she is really picky and she only knows Sophie even though I hold her a lot like she knows me to hold her but she doesn't know me to feed her and or Sam to feed her so when we feed her she's like ew go away but I did see her running around her cage today I cleaned out her cage got her a new sub tray like a, just paper towel on the bottom to keep it kind of clean also got her new crickets and they're all just I just put them all in their container you guys can see holy moly moly do you see that that is because when you buy crickets, they've been in the box for a while, so all of them are dying of thirst. So those are those are paper towels soaked with water, and they go over and they drink from it. And we do that so that they don't drown, but they, yeah. There's some over there, we put potatoes over there, and then I have some fruit in that corner too, and they're all just traveling around drinking, but that's the most I've ever seen drink that much at one time. Let's see if we can get close. That's as close as I can get. Not my idea of a good supper. Let's do a test. See who likes vegetables. I have a green bean, half a green bean from my garden. Right to her bed. Do you like vegetable vegetables? <laughs> Oddly, I don't remember any of our dogs like ever growing up or anything like that that liked vegetables, but Daisy especially will eat any vegetable, which is really good. Molly, on the other hand, just attacked it like it was a bug. <laughs> I want to tell you guys two things, updates. So today was Storm's first lesson with the little kids at the barn. Um, uh, the owner of the barn sent me a picture of him with this little girl. I'm going to show it to you guys right here. And she said he was perfect and he totally babysat the kid, which is exactly what I thought was going to happen. She said it was awesome. Like the kid totally fell in love with him. And so yeah, that's exciting. Like that made me feel so much better. I guess I just needed that. I needed to see him. Like he just looked like a perfect little horse out there. Like, yeah. So there was that. And then the other update is that Sophie decided to do an eventing show. So who is up for her first eventing show? So Gabby probably would do all these things too. But I, Gabby is kind of saving her horse. Her horse is like a um a hunter horse for sure and she's saving him for trium and she's like being really careful about what she does with him and so she's not showing but sophie was like yeah let's do it let's go eventing so she's gonna do an eventing show she's gonna do dressage and she's gonna have a lesson in dressage soon and and figure it all out she's gonna do dressage she's gonna do stadium and she's gonna do cross country is that what it is is it stadium dressage and cross country? Yeah. 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 So she's gonna do it all. I'm Finn. So yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. Don't you know that you're beautiful?